Question B. Normal atmospheric pressure is 1.0 times 10 power 5 pascals. At this pressure, the volume of the box is 30 centimeters cube. Calculate the reduction in volume that must occur for the switch to be on. As usual for any calculation, let's find out our givens. We have the normal atmospheric pressure without pressing the rubber cover. This is 1.0 times 10 power 5 pascals. For this pressure, the volume of the trapped air under the rubber box is 30 centimeters cube. Let's go back to the head of the question, which says that when the rubber cover is pushed, and air pressure becomes 1.2 times the atmospheric pressure. The switch will come on. These Gavins need the equation P1V1 equals P2V2. Let's see the left-hand side case. Initially, the atmospheric pressure P1 is 1.0 times 10 power 5 pascals. For this pressure, the corresponding volume of trapped air is 30 centimeters cube under the rubber cover. Now the rubber cover is pushed until the switch comes on. At this case, the new pressure is 1.2 times 10 power 5 pascals, which is 1.2 times the normal atmospheric pressure. Now we want to find the new volume in case the switch is on. Simply the calculations show that V2 is 25 centimeters cube. But wait, the question is not answered yet because he's not asking for the new volume. He's asking for the reduction in volume. So let's subtract the initial volume minus the final volume, which is 30 minus 25. This gives 5 centimeters cube. This is the reduction in volume of air that makes the switch on.